Hello, thanks for joining me uh, tonight or today if you're watching during the daytime. Uh, we're going to be discussing the new film Father's Day from the Prostate Cancer UK charity and with me is the actress and performer uh, Rebecca Front. Hello Rebecca. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. The central performance for me uh, was Ray Winston yeah. who, who's, who, well uh, for me it was his best performance since Gandhi. Yeah, I mean, he's a remarkably versatile actor. I mean, that Cockney accent that he put on. Really realistic. I mean, yeah. it was so believable. Absolutely. No, and I, I, I loved his work in Gandhi. I loved him as Chaplin. Oh. Um, I think he's, he is a, you know, he's somebody, he disappears into the role completely. Yeah. I know you'll be here. I told you. I'm out. Just leave me alone. I don't want it. Watching John Sim act is like being in the ring with him yes. for 15 rounds, watching him pound you with his talent. Yes, that is very, very true, actually, yeah. And, and, and I think, you know, as, as we know, as performers, you can only uh, give that sort of performance if you have a team behind you. Mm. And when you watch John Sim, you sense the team behind him. You sense the guy with the dressing gown and the, the one with the gum shield and the... Yes. The and, and, catering. I felt and catering. I could yeah. feel the catering. Easy. Since when was anything easy in my life? Hey, come on, we can... What? Fight it. Yeah, right, look at me. Sell by date, 1986. The other thing I found um, wonderful was um, Tamsin Althwaite. Mm. Uh, loved her in The Queen. Yes. Um, and she, I mean, she's really annexed that part for yes. herself. So there she is, she's playing... And in the episodes, of course. Episodes. She's fantastic in that. She's, yep. So really, she she's a, a remarkably versatile actress. Yes. She? Well, again, I thought she was Ray Winston initially. She, you know... Because he's so versatile. That, that's, but yes. then I realised that actually... It was her, and then I thought, well, uh, then I needed to rewind to find out whether the Ray Winston part was actually Tamsin, because oh, it could have been, so you know, it could have been yeah, them yeah. with a bit of help, help from makeup and so on. I don't know what to say. Oh, cars. I don't get it. Neil Stook, he's an actor who has great, well, there's, there's no English word for it, great présence. Mm. Um, well, presence. Yes. No, no, you're right. So, I'm stage two prostate cancer. So, Rebecca, did you find this film moving? I did actually find it moving because um, clearly it's telling a very, it's making a very serious point, which is that men don't talk as much about their health as they need to, and men need to go to their doctors if they think they've got a problem, get things checked out and discuss it and be prepared to talk to their wives, talk to their partners, whatever. Um, so in that sense, yeah, it was very moving that in a, in a way that that still needs to be said, but it, it really does Yeah, no, it did feel, did feel really true because, like, you feel that with men, I mean, the reputation is if we get man flu, then we never stop going on about it. But when it comes to anything more serious, then what we tend to do is just bury our heads in the sand, which would be an excellent position to get a prostate examination, I suppose. But, um, but that's what the message of this film was really strongly for me was um, share if you're worried go and get uh, looked after and, and know that there is support there so um, so yeah so have a look at the film and uh, yeah let us know what you think